Hello folks, on this chapter we do a recap of 2021. As we entered the upper peninsula of Michigan, we knew we were going to hit some waterfalls and a lot of lighthouses. So stay tuned, buckle up, it's going to be a beautiful ride. And it was late in the day, so we knew we better find camp and get it set up. And we found the perfect spot just down the road from Bond Falls. Absolutely beautiful. The next morning after breakfast, we got up and we hit these waterfalls. And let me tell you, the sheer power of watching the water and feeling it rush over the edge is unbelievable. With so many sights on our list, this will be a two-part series of the Upper Peninsula. So be sure and stay tuned for the second half. The Upper Peninsula has a unique trail system called UP Trail on an app that takes you all over the state on old railroad track systems. It's pretty impressive. Our first one, we went across this single lane bridge. As you're driving along on these trails, they have the same highway signs that you would see on any other road, but these signs are on trails. They call Lake Superior, Lake Superior for a reason. It's the most superior looking lake you will ever see in your lifetime. Absolutely breathtaking. Our goal was to stay on the edge of the UP and drive all the way around. And to hit the different beaches along the way. As we continued north, we came across this stone ship. Pretty impressive looking. Then we came across the world's tallest snow thermometer with a record breaking 390 inches in 1978 and 79. And the year before last, 25 feet. We had spent most of the day traveling and sightseeing, so it was now time to find camp. And that exciting feeling you find when you find a water crossing looking for that special spot. And when you find that location, knowing you're miles and miles from a soul, nobody around, you hit the right spot. As we got up, made breakfast, packed up camp, we started hitting more waterfalls. As we laced up our hiking boots, prepared for the hike up to the side and through the water, it was quite a sight to see. We found multiple deep pools up top and lots of rushing water. It was quite enjoying and relaxing sitting by it and walking through it. We left Jacob Falls, we found our first lighthouse. And let me tell you, it was absolutely gorgeous. But unfortunately, most of the lighthouses in the Upper Peninsula are privately owned. So some of them you can't get real close to. So good thing for drones. As we were wrapping up to continue north to Copper Harbor, found a pretty cool little gas station. 
As we continued north, we ran across US-41, where it starts, and Copper Harbor runs 2,008 miles all the way to Miami, Florida. Many of these life-saving stations became a government agency in 1915 called the U.S. Coast Guard. They saved multiple boaters' lives all throughout the history of their existence till they ended. Keweenaw Peninsula is also home to Fort Wilkins. It was built in 1844 to keep law and order during the Copper Rush. There are 27 structures built on this property, basically a small city behind a set of poles called the fort. In 1970, it was put on the registry for National Historic Sites that the DNR operates. And when they restored Fort Wilkins, they restored it to the original way that it was in 1844. As we continued on our journey around the edge of the Upper Peninsula, we came across another lighthouse. And it was absolutely beautiful walking out there on that concrete walkway. The wind rushing, the water flying up on you, absolutely beautiful. And after spending the majority of the day, we had to find camp, so we set it up right there by the lighthouse. As we continued on, we stumbled across this historic Lutheran church with the original furnishings still inside, from the pews, to the lanterns, to the wood-burning stove, all left and kept the way it was in 1866. As we continued on, we made our way through some beautiful country in Keweenaw Peninsula. We were nearly at the very tip where you couldn't get any further and we found another lighthouse. and you actually feel like you're in the ocean, not on a beach of a lake. As Carol was on the beach going through rocks to take home, she found some pretty impressive ones. And after some time spent on the beach, she finally made her way up the windy stairs to the very top to check out the spectacular views above Lake Superior, the most superior lake in the world. This is a two-part series. Carol and I with Overland Adventures of America would like to thank y'all for riding along with us. So be sure and hit that subscribe button, that bell button, and be sure and leave a comment. And hang around for the next series 
as we continue on through the Upper Peninsula for some amazing sights.